Welcome to Austria, Agent 47. Your targets are Dorian Lang, Guillaume Maison, and Doris Lee, three remaining members of the international gang of thieves known as the Yardbirds. The Yardbirds were famous for the daring heists, in particular, one that took place against Shamal Casino in Las Vegas. However, the money proved to be the property of organized criminals who in turn launched a campaign of violence and retaliation in an effort to identify the thieves and find the money. Feeling the earth burn beneath them, the Yardbirds entered into a secret agreement. The treasure would remain hidden, and once the dust settled, the last remaining member was to inherit everything. The group retired, and all members vanished from sight until Calvin Ritter, the Sparrow, was found dead on his yacht. But the remaining members remained elusive. The group never gathers in one place, but today is a special occasion. The wedding of Elizabeth Lang is taking place at the palatial home of Guillaume Maison with Doris Lee as a special guest. Our client is Alexander Kovac, the founder of the Yardbirds. He has stipulated that all three targets and their bodyguards must be eliminated at this event. Should any of the Yardbirds escape, the contract is invalidated. Looks like Kovac is making his final bid for the Los Angeles. Yo, what's up Freeze Army? Welcome to Hitman Sniper Assassin. This is the Sonic Assassin walkthrough. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit that bell notification to be notified of all future videos and challenges at your request. We're going to get the hard ones out of the way first. So coming up first in this video is going to be the Sonic Assassin challenge. This is the point where I usually would show you the equipment that I'm bringing along with me, but obviously there's no loadout or anything like that. Just upgrades on your Sniper Assassin, uh, Sniper Rifle itself. So let's get straight into the gameplay. Try and keep up as best as you can, but obviously pause the video if necessary to find all the targets that you need to do. So right at the start, make sure you uh, skip the opening uh, cutscene right there and shoot that fence towards that guard. We're going to shoot the ground here to distract that guard down there, and then finally shoot that guard, and he's gonna, his body is going to be hidden in the, the bush right there. Once this guard gets suspicious, we're going to hold down the trigger to slow down time. I'm going to knock him off there. Swip, switch over to your shockwave ammo and shoot to the left of the guard so he will launch over the fence just like that. And now we're going to take out the two guards by the river. The, the pond, I should say. Quick succession. Hold down the trigger and then just to slow down time, take both of those out. The final one is just going to be here at the back. Once we're doing that now, just make sure you are reloading the, your weapon at the, at the same time here as well. And shoot that limo right around the front. That's going to distract one of our main targets because we need to slow him down a little bit later on. This guard right here, we're going to shoot him in the chest. If you miss it, don't forget just to shoot the ground. He will go over to where the question, uh, where the, uh, the you shot, and you can just knock him into the, the little river that's behind him. This one, we're just going to shoot that speaker there for an accident kill. You might want to switch over to your wall piercing ammo to shoot through the wall here. As long as the bodies aren't discovered, you're not going to be uh, worrying about silent assassin anyway. Next is this guard right here. If you can't hit him with that first shot, just shoot the window to get his attention and then shoot him through it. He will automatically hide his body. Hiding, hiding bodies isn't completely necessary for Silent Assassin, but as, uh, it will help with your score massively. So back to that original target that we uh, distracted a little bit earlier. Make sure you shoot the ground here right next to the pond. And that will give us time to take him out. Just make sure the, uh, the, the bride isn't looking in his direction at the same time. That will knock him straight into the pond and that will get rid of the second target. Third target is going to be here, coming out of a helicopter. You just want to shoot the ground here next to the little pit, little pond. And wait for that chef to turn around before we shoot her in the back. And then her body will automatically be hidden. At this point in time, you'll only have about five guards left. And your timer will stop because all three targets have been taken care of. With this guard here, you want to use the shockwave ammo just to launch him in the air here to automatically hide his body. We've got this guard over here. We can launch over the fence with the body piercing ammo. We can just knock him over the fence like that. Again, hiding bodies isn't necessary as long as they don't get discovered. So when they're in secluded areas like this, like this guy on the roof right here, um, it won't, you won't have for any problems or anything like that with the Silent Assassin rating. But if you can shoot him right here, he will fall through the skylight and he will automatically hide his body as well. Again, it's just all about improving the score at that point. It's not necessary for Silent Assassin as long as he's dead and his body isn't discovered. With this guard here, we're just going to catch him on the stairs and just shoot the ground next to it. So just so he gets distracted, so we can knock him in the uh, the pond again. Just wait for that, make sure that pilot isn't looking in your direction at the same time. 
So we'll go down to one more person now. He should be heading this way. We're just going to shoot again next to the pond just to get his descent attention. I swear a lot. The uh, the pistol, the sniper rifle ammo is just like uh, the new coin in Hitman Sniper Assassin. But that's it overall. It's quite a quick sort assassin as long as you can try and follow that as best as you possibly can. Uh, it's just always important to know that once you've taken out all three targets, you have an um, infinite amount of time to take out the bodyguards. Just make sure none of the bodies are uh, none of the bodies are found. And that's pretty much it for the Sergeant Assassin. Just make sure you pause if necessary during that video, and that will pretty much be doing it for this. So that's going to do it for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe here if you are brand new to the channel. And make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a sponsor of the channel. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. See you guys in the next video. Cheers. No!